All right, hey, what's up, guys? This is Epsilon144. I'm going to teach you how to connect your microphone directly to OBS without having to go through audio software. You can just connect the microphone directly into the OBS streaming software. As you can see here, there's a signal being um, pumped through OBS. That green signal down there, there are... A, there's like one basic step to get the, the microphone connected but there are also some extra steps that will help uh, get the sound kind of fixed up if you have a problem with like the left right kind of signal I'll show you how to fix all of that up as well but most importantly if you're using an audio interface like I have down here you can't see it but in my studio make sure the audio interface is installed on your computer make sure the audio interface is turned on and make sure the phantom power switch on the audio interface is turned on as well. There's a plus 48V phantom power on the audio interface. Make sure that is turned on because that will power your microphone. If you're using a USB microphone, you don't need the interface. You can plug in directly to your computer and it'll work just fine. But if you have an older analog XLR microphone, you have to have an audio interface and that has to all be set up and installed. Once, that, once all of that's taken care of, you come into OBS here. On the bottom right side of the screen, there's a settings button. Open that. And then here in audio, you want to come, we're here in the settings, you want to come over to audio on the left side. And then here you will find mic slash auxiliary audio device. From that drop down, there are various choices, default, cable, your audio interface. Mine says line in Behringer USB, but yours is going to say whatever audio interface you're using or it'll say your microphone if you're using a USB microphone and then the microphone real tech. But this is just the microphone on the computer. So that will work, but it's not as good of audio as getting your microphone, right? So the point is to use your audio interface or your microphone. That will show up there and it will say whatever you're using. Again, I'm using Behringer, so that's the one I'm using. You select that and then hit apply. And once you hit apply, it will apply to the software and okay. And you'll have your signal. Now, at this point, you might notice that only the top uh, bar, there are two, two bars down here on this signal. The, only the top one or the bottom one will be going, and that's because it's only sending the signal to the left or the right in a mono style or in a stereo signal, but for some reason, it's not getting both the left and right signal. It's only getting one of them. To fix that, you can switch it into mono by clicking on this little gear right here next to the volume for your mic aux signal there's a gear right here click on that and go to advanced audio properties and then in here you want to make sure that the down mix to mono is selected for mic aux all right so once i take that off you'll probably notice that like i said the one bottom signal drops and you're only getting it in one one ear or one speaker so click that down mix to mono and then both will come in in a mono signal all right um I think that's about it. So that's how you connect your microphone to OBS. And then f um, once you have this set up, you can now do like presentations with the internet. You can do presentations with PowerPoint. You can re screen capture anything you want, your, your software, your music software, your video games, whatever you want to screen capture, you can screen capture and get your voice in along with the uh, capture for the presentation or whatever you're doing. All right, so if you have any questions about that, please, leave a comment below and I will help you out. I have helped like hundreds of people set up their audio equipment, so I'll be happy to help you. And um, as always, fam, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Peace out.